You want to upload your first avatar to VRChat, but where do you start? So uploading your VRChat avatar, your first one at least, can be a bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. There are a few videos out there. Back when I tried to upload my first one, it was fairly difficult because I go confused a lot. <laughs> I'm easily confused though, <laughs> if you know me. <laughs> But hopefully I can make this easy enough to understand for most people to use. One of the first things you're going to need to be able to upload an avatar is a VRChat account. Quite simple to make, you go to the VRChat website, register, and bingo, you're in. But not just yet. One of the other things you're going to need to be able to upload an avatar is so many hours in the game itself and our making a few friends you'll most likely get an email to say that you've unlocked this ability and once you've got that you can proceed to the next step of downloading unity and setting up the sdk but to find the sdk it's, it's simple you go on the vr chat website log in and you come to this screen you go to downloads and voila you have the SDK here and Unity. You click on the Unity link, it brings you up to a document saying which version of the Unity that you will need. So the current supported Unity version is Unity 2018.4.20F1. That's the version you're going to need to download to be able to Create, put together your avatars and use the SDK to upload them. It is recommended to download Unity Hub. So that all the different versions of Unity you have installed are in one place. It is also easier to navigate than launching Unity directly. Then all you have to do is create a new project with Unity. Simple enough. Give it a name. Avatars. Or VR chat avatars. I'm going to call it VR chat avatars testing, for example. And you create that, it goes, it may take a little bit for it to set up the project because it has to import all the different assets for a new Unity project. Once that's done, you can proceed to go download the SDK. For creating avatars, you'll need either SDK2 or SDK free avatars version. I would recommend SDK free because it's the newer system and it's good to learn for when SDK 2 disappears. To import it into the project, all you do is place it on the desktop. That's what I normally do. And then just drag it into the project and it proceeds to do all the work for you. You press import and it imports everything you need or from VRChat to be able to start the process of getting an avatar uploaded. Once that's all imported into the Unity project, you've got to find an avatar that you want to upload. Uh, I would recommend going to VRC Mods if you're trying to upload your avatar for the first time or an avatar for the first time, just because it's a simple way of getting it from Unity project into VRChat. You will also need to go into the control panel. To do that, you go into VRChat SDK, show control panel, and it pops up this little tab. I'd normally drag it over here, press sign in, and it signs in you, you in. This will show you the status of whether you can upload worlds or avatars, which I can. That's a useful tool that we'll visit a little later. Content Manager, that's all the avatars that you've ever uploaded. And that's just settings. Once you've downloaded an avatar, you can drag it into the Unity project and import it just like the SDK. If you're using the SDK free, then you'll need an avatar that supports SDK free. If you're using SDK 2, you'll need an avatar that was created on SDK 2. You from what I've seen just now, when testing this video, 
you, I couldn't get SDK2 avatar working in SDK3, which I will try and figure out and maybe make another video about that if I manage to figure it out. Once you've got your avatar uploaded, a, normally they come in a little package that is straight away ready to go. But in the case it doesn't, this is how you set it up so that it's ready to go. First, get your avatar, select it, got to rig it, following this, straight from this model, config, save. That will config it. Normally, I add in the toes, so this one would be the left toe, and the other one would be the right toe. This one is normally okay if all of them are filled out except upper chest, which is not needed for most avatars. Once you've done that, you apply. Then you click done. Once done, you've got a avatar that is correctly rigged. Then you add the descriptor which is needed for the avatar to process all the bits and bobs <laughs> so it can see and all that. Enable eye look and then you have to go down in here to find where the eyes are. The eyes are normally up in head or you can use the search bar. I normally like to drag it just in case it already has stuff already in. Once that's done now that activates the eye move. Next, you need to correctly height your view position. That's represented by this little bowl here. You want it around the middle of the eyes here. So by adjusting it, normally it's a 0 0.5, 0 0.4, no, 0 0.3, 6, no. We're going to go for about 1.334 and you want it as close to the face as possible because that is where your viewpoint is. So we go 0.1. Perfect. You can always adjust this after uploading the avatar and seeing if it feels right. Move it about. When it feels right for you, pretty much done. Now this avatar is in a state that we can upload it. So to by the correct shaders, you will need to click on the avatar once, select materials, use embedded materials, no, use external materials, by base texture name, project wide. Because if you've done it correctly, you've imported the textures with the avatar. Normally, you probably don't have to do this, but a lot of the time you do. Press apply. It searches the entire project for your assets and automatically applies the ones it finds correctly. Ah. Sometimes it comes up as this purple figure. It just means you have to manually find the textures and apply to them. So, select the avatar and you double click. As you can see, it hasn't selected the correct well, the correct textures for it. So we normally search by texture name, or in this case, you have to look up and see if you're finding the correct one. That doesn't appear to do anything. A bit of a trial and error with this part. That's the hair. Now, find the correct hair model. That goes on there. That's. I'm not sure. Nine times out of ten, they do name it correctly. The textures to non textures. But in this case, it has not, because this is a customized avatar. 
this will be what uh, Avatar looks if the standard Unity shaders. Normally you can find a shader pack to be able to make it look slightly nicer than, well, the base avatars. At this point, you can upload the avatar and get into the game, test it out, see if it works all right. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> you go VRChat SDK, Builder, Autofix. If there's anything up here that needs auto fixing you just press auto fix and to build and publish for windows click build and publish for windows if you want to test it offline you build and test this uploads quicker but also others can't see it just so sometimes you just need that outside opinion if it looks okay you will have to wait a little bit for it to Compress, build, undo everything, ready to upload to the VRChat servers. Takes a little bit of a time, depending on the speed of your PC and all that. Once that's finish, finished all compiling its data and everything, it'll bring you up to this screen. It'll say something like uploading a new avatar instead of update. This is updating an avatar. You go over to scene if you want to move the camera up or down. Or out of view, anything like that. Inspector, if you want to change the background color, just like that. I'm going to make that purple, purpley pink. Uh, you give it a name. I've got this as small hexy, it's, it's short. <laughs> Description, if you want. Content warnings, if it's got nudity. Blood gore, not safe for work, realistic violence. Private or public? Private is for yourself. Public, other people can clone your avatar if you've got cloning activated. Confirm the above information is correct, then you press upload. Uploading can take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your internet. But once it is done, you can launch up VRChat and enjoy your new avatar that you've just uploaded. Now you got your avatar uploaded in the game. Look, wow, amazing. If your viewpoint, you can put your finger like up to your nose. IRL. Just see how it compares up looking into the mirror. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah. Good job. You did it. Boop. <laughs> Hang on. Where do you go to test everything's working fine? Glad you asked. Uh, VRChat has a default world. Avatar testing. Good place to come check it out. See how tall you are. With these, I am 110 something. I don't know what the measurement's in, or just under 3.6. Or you can look in the mirror. There's a mirror. See your avatar, see everything work around it or you can go to the mmd dance worlds they're good for seeing where your avatar has clip in and all that so that's how you upload an avatar to vrchat i hope you guys found it easy or not easy leave comments in below tell me how you thought did you struggle did you not i don't know <laughs> but i hope you have learned something i did I learned that 2.0 avatars do not work in 3.0. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. And hey, I'm on Twitch where I do some Blender work. Not very well, mind you. And I play some VR chat. I hope to see you guys there if you wish. But yeah, have a good time and thanks for watching.